Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm Richie and this is Hillside Acres. So uh, today I put the three point auger on the L2501. Uh, in all honesty, I'm not really a big fan of this thing, but today we're gonna be putting some posts in and what we're gonna be doing, doing for the horse barn. So we got four by six posts that are gonna connect the stalls together. And uh, it's a, I believe it's a eight inch auger, so it should work pretty good. The thing I really don't like about this one is that there's no down pressure on the three-point hitch. Um, when we did all our pasture fencing, we started trying to do it with this and there was so many rocks out there. It just wasn't practical and wasn't working. And I ended up borrowing a hydraulic auger from a friend of mine to put on the M7060. So hopefully inside the building, uh, the ground's not gonna be too rough and rocky to where this won't be able to do it. I'm hoping it'll just be able to do it, especially it'd be nicer to have the smaller tractor in there uh, to be able to maneuver around a little bit better. But uh, if it starts going bad, we only got to do six posts today. And if I need to, I can bar the hydraulic auger again. So in here, that end's just going to be a six foot spot to put wheelbarrows and things like that. And the rest of this side just going to be three 10 by 12 stalls. So we're going to be putting a post here, post and post. And then after those are in, we're going to measure off of the dividing posts to put the post for the door in. Bolt. So the first hole didn't go too good. We made it about two feet deep and we're looking to go 36 inches and uh, we're going to, need to put concrete or expanding foam in there. But we made it about two feet down and broke our first shear bolt on the first hole. So I think I'll probably end up grabbing the hydraulic auger, but I'm going to see if I can find a shear bolt and keep going for today. So that first one took a lot of hand digging and uh, we got the post setting in there. We got string lines to keep it level one way, we're gonna level it side to side. Um, we're gonna give this uh, Sika Post Fix a try. It's a two part foam mixture instead of concrete. So it is a pressure treated post, but this should keep it from rotting out and keep it in place well. I mean, everything's also gonna be tied together with the wood and uh, we'll see how this stuff goes. I think it'll do good and it's a, a lot easier to deal with than bagged of concrete, but it is a little pricey. So. We're going to try it out on these three stalls in here, so it won't be a big cost difference. All right, so you got to roll this up to break the seal to mix it first. I feel like this could get messy. And it says mix it back and forth like you're shining a shoe for 15 seconds. Feel it heating up. You hold it level for a minute or so. So that went a little quicker than expected and I just had to stuff this stuff in the hole. But you could feel the bag heating up a lot and right now it's in the hole expanding. So that looks like it should set it in there pretty good. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. Everything's tied together, but it'll hold it in nice and sturdy in the ground for now.
So the second hole, it didn't want to go at all, so I just started it by hand and it seemed to go pretty good from there. Hopefully it goes a little smoother from now on. The first hole was pretty rough. The, the foam mixture seems to be working good. And uh, we just got to shave a little bit off the backside to meet up with the string line. There's an old water line down here. I guess we can hope there's no water in it. We'll find out in a second. This urethane foam stuff is really nice, but it is pretty pricey. Maybe we could find it cheaper somewhere, but. So as you can see behind me, we got a pretty good bit of mount done today. Um, we were really only hoping to get post set today, but I think we did pretty good considering uh, Saturday we woke up, had breakfast. We actually went to Home Depot, bought the post, um, got caught up with a couple other things and then actually got to spend some time in here. So I'll go turn the camera real quick to show you what we got done. Um, we got three stalls done. We still got to do the fronts and build the, uh, build the uh, doors and uh, sliding hardware on them. But I think they're looking pretty good. Um, these first, first two here, I had some scrap two by fours just put up there to keep them stiff for now, but uh, there's gonna be three rows of the two by eights on top that's gonna really lock everything together. Um, this little, aisle here is just going to be for wheelbarrows and manure fork storage things like that um, these are the, so these will be the first three stalls um, we're going to be doing like 36 of them total those couple discolored boards in this one were uh, those were from sitting on the tops of the bundles so they're a little discolored but I think they'll all blend in once we get everything stained. So I'm pretty happy with the progress we've got going on in here so far. This side is just gonna have a single wall over here. And this is gonna be the tack room for boarders to store their saddles and uh, things like that. So it's Sunday now and we spent the day finishing off the rest of the stalls. So we didn't really film anything on that today. We were just trying to get, get some stuff done. So I'll give you guys a look at what we've done so far. Um, these are the first uh, stalls in this project we've done. So it was a little bit of trial and error and uh, it actually went better than I expected. Uh, we have a little bit left to do. I'm gonna turn the camera around. Um, so here's the stall. Um, we didn't put the doors on yet because we need to get a, an extra long drill bit to be able to uh, put the hardware together. So inside, they're all 10 feet by 12 feet. This one's got a window. They still need to be stained, but everything's all together. I'm pretty happy with how things have been going. Um, we still got some temporary bracing on up top just to... Uh, we use that just to hold the post steady until we can get it. We might put one more, uh, one more board up top and anything sticking up, sticking up still, we're just gonna cut that off flush. So here's the way it worked out. We had a bunch of extra pieces cut for the additional doors that are gonna be the other building, but I think they look pretty good. Here's one of the doors put together. We just got to put the sliding hardware up and then it'll be able to swing back and forth. So when the, I don't know, it took us like two days to get these three 
almost 100%. They're not completely done, but there's not a lot left to do. And that did involve a couple trips to, you know, the store. We had to get go by the post. We bought them on Saturday morning. And we had to go back. Uh, I just needed to get a couple two by fours this morning. And we got a couple more uh, those pouches of that uh, expanding urethane foam, which we bought three originally and three bags of concrete to see what we wanted to use. And I definitely like using that urethane foam. You don't have to uh, cart it around and it's the posts are gonna be way less prone to rot way down the road. So I just wanna thank everybody for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe if you don't mind, it's free. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Take care.